You're gonna find number 10? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, Jean. No, that's 24, that's two four. You need to find a one and a zero. One. I'm looking too. No, that's a one and a nine. A one and a zero. No, oh, I see it. Do Where? you see it? Where, right here? Nope, look for the number one and a zero next to it. It might be a little hard. Yes, good job. I just got it there. You are so smart. Open it. You can do it. What did you get? What? What is it? What? What is it? I don't know. You don't know? You want me to open? Hold me. Here. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we have no idea what this is. I want to say it's one of the trolls, but when you really look at it, it is not a troll. We need to rewatch this movie. Yeah. Because I feel like if we rewatch it, we would totally understand all of the little prizes. But it's cute though, huh? Yeah. That's cute. It's from Frozen. Yeah, it's from Frozen. It's something different, huh? Yeah. Oh, baby, Tisfall, 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 one in it. Maybe Kristoff wanted it? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Tisfall wanted eat this. You think he wants to eat it? Yeah. I don't know, but it's that's cool. It's different. We like that. Oh, maybe it's from Anna. No, oh, maybe it's for Anna. It's for all of to us. Oh, okay. Maybe. Well, that's it's cool. This far. <laughs> we have seen Olaf's Frozen Adventure and like it's actually really cute. It's a it's a short film that Disney did. Um and funny enough, I actually I don't know if you guys watched my Black Friday haul. Yeah, we saw it at Disneyland. We actually saw, that's what she was saying, we saw the movie or the short film at Disneyland. They actually played it. If you went to go to, actually just California Adventure, if you went to California Adventure to go see the actual live Frozen show, then they played the Olaf's Frozen Adventure, that short film, they played it before the actual movie. You don't remember everything? It's really funny. I think we saw it like two or three times. Yeah, I'm gonna look and see if there's like a way to view it maybe on Netflix. It's hard to remember. I know, sometimes it's hard. Or if they are playing it on like the TV and I can like record it. Funnily enough, if you watched my Black Friday haul, I actually got that for her um, on Black Friday. But it was ten dollars, and Enam is like, honestly, it's like it's a short film. I think it's like no longer than twenty minutes. I don't think so. And he's like, you're gonna pay ten dollars for that, but I also got Incredibles too, the DVD, the Blu-ray, and like the digital copy for ten dollars as well, because it was a Black Friday deal. So Enam is like, why are you gonna pay like the same price? And like the Olaf's Frozen Adventure is normally seventeen something, so. He's like, I don't know, I just don't think that's like the best deal. He's like, and I don't think she's really gonna be like that into it. So I don't know, now I'm kind of thinking, mm, maybe I should have just like got it, not even as a gift, let her watch it and then do the advent calendar, but it's too late, I already returned it. So hopefully I can find it on the TV or something like that, that way she can like watch it. And also it'll be good too for like, me, like me, that way I can be like, okay, yeah, I can kind of like help her explain and like jog her memory a little bit, but. Anyways, it's still really fun um, to like open it every day and you know see what you know she's gonna get. I love advent calendars. I don't know. I highly suggest them. They do have chocolate ones too if you don't want to do like little toy ones, which the chocolate ones are the ones I always did growing up. However, if you don't want your kid having chocolate every day, then that's kind of what happened to us last year. We we kind of forgot, and so then when we would need to open like two or three in one day, it's like she would get two or three pieces of chocolate, and then we're like, mm. so kind of like. That's why we didn't really want to do like chocolate. But when I saw that on clearance, I was like, yes, Gaga. So you better believe I'm going to find me or hopefully find some clearance ones this year for next year. Comment down below. Let me know what which ones they have. Like if you've seen any like really cool advent calendars you think we should like check out, let me know. The year before we did a Tsum Tsum one and I got it at Costco. And we loved the Simpsons on and she still has the little figures and like plays with them and stuff. So anyways, I'm rambling. Official good hello, good morning. Um, but yeah, I am honestly editing right now. I literally only have two more clips to edit and I am done. It's currently 10, 13 a.m. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and like finish editing these last clips. That way I can just be done with this for the day because we kind of have a lot we need to do. So. I'm gonna go back to work and I will check out with you guys later. Good morning, you guys. So, Edam and I are headed to the post office and we have, I literally have a whole bag of stuff to do. So, we are mailing out, yep, we're gonna be here for a while. So, 
Um, we have to mail out two of the like oiled and bombs and then, oh, this is a one way, honey. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to do that. And then I also have to mail out the prize for the giveaway winner. So I needed to do that and I need to pick up a package and we are opening brrr, a P.O. box. You guys have asked us if we would open up a P.O. box and I was kind of like on the fence because honestly I had only gotten mail one time in my P.O. box in California and I just felt it was like a waste of money. But honestly with like shipping out the oils and stuff just for protection. We did not want to put our physical address like on the return labels of the boxes, but also at the same time, we didn't want to put no return address because God forbid the post office can't deliver the um, oils and such, you know, it's gonna get like lost and go, who knows, in la la land. And we didn't want that either. So anyways, we just thought it would be better all the way around. So we're gonna go inside. We have like a million things to do in the post office. Eventually. All right, you guys, we're done. The line was long, but actually it wasn't that bad. We got the keys to the P.O. box, so whoop, whoop, yay, got it done. And we mailed out those three packages, so you guys should be getting them, and I will be messaging all of you guys your tracking numbers. So be on the lookout, that way you guys can track. But they guarantee two to three days. So anyways, I'm excited, and thank you to everyone that's already bought like the oil and the beard balm. We appreciate it, and yeah, I'm excited. Oh. Thank you, my love. He's such a gentleman, this guy right here, isn't he? So attractive. But all right, that is done. So thank goodness that is done and over with. And I got my other package that I needed to pick up from Targette, get in there. But man, I don't know why employees are so rude sometimes. It's just like, ugh, it's exhausting sometimes going to the post office by the rudeness, but whoa, what is this car doing? But anyways, all right, okay, we're gonna go, we're going home, right? Or do we have to go to I'm the just dealership? Just to make sure. Or well, not the dealership, but but um yeah, what are they doing? Oh. But okay, so we are going to go to um the it's not a dealership of uh, repair, car repair. I don't know if I talked about this or not in any of the videos. I think I did in my plan with me, but our Corolla our Corolla is old though. Our it's a 2009 it's almost it's ba it's basically 10 years old because i actually bought it in 2008 yeah. i bought it on black friday 2008 i got a really good deal super freaking cheap and i got a free tv too with it but anyways um that was like their black friday deal whoa we are hauling okay. booty but anyways and it has over 100,000 miles this car has had florida plates minnesota plates california plates now it's about to get Texas plates. This car has been around. It has a lot of miles on it. Uh, not a full, well, 100 and something thousand. 120? 137, I think. Well, oh, uh, 137? Still not a lot for Toyota. Yeah, and so we obviously want to take care of it. I mean, we do, we do take care of it and we get all of the stuff done. But it's been making a weird noise. We, Edom's been saying how we need to get tires for it. We just haven't gotten the tires for it. We were waiting till we got to Texas. But of course, when it rains, it pours, you guys. So, yeah, we need tires too, so. How many things is wrong with the Toyota? Oh, just the two things? Well, what else is wrong besides the axle? The oh, so it's the axle and the struts. The axle is like $400, but the struts is the most expensive part. So basically, we're gonna be paying $1,600 to fix the Corolla. By the way, we also need an oil change and we have to get our Texas state inspection, which I didn't even know we needed an inspection on the car. It's, I guess it's like California, how you need like a smog check. I just remembered a the smog windshield check. Track, so I wanna get there before they do it, because it's probably not gonna pass. Oh, Lord have mercy. Wait, oh my God, yeah. Our well, windshield, the USA covered Yeah, our windshield has like a little chip in it. It's not like a huge crack, it's a chip. Our This car has a chip in it too. I don't know if I said this, but when we were driving from San Antonio, back here when we got wiggles we got a freaking ship in the windshield i'm like are you kidding me but that's what happens when you drive so i still have to call usa about it so both of our windshields have chips but they're not like huge like you know big cracks or anything that like obstruct your view but anyways yeah texas requires a state inspection for the cars i did not know this so edam's also asking him like well wait how much is it going to cost for the oil change and the inspection like is that included in the quote so yeah so the 1600 dollars is just literally those two problem things the oil change and the state inspection the guy said he's going to like work with us to get us a deal so 
that is nice but i don't really know what that deal is gonna be so i guess we'll see but we're gonna head there first because they need the car insurance right well he was gonna pull it but i just want to go yeah so and then have a better idea of exactly how much we're paying, and what we're paying yeah and just also talk in person so anyways that's where we're going right now and then we're headed home so um yeah this is gonna be a very expensive day kind of sucks because you know it's obviously right before christmas although christmas is done for us like not like the holidays done but like the shopping is done but it's just like ah uh. and then also on the 22nd is when the tags expire so we're gonna have to spend who knows how much money to get plates to and like to re-register the car in texas and i don't know if they're gonna make me change the title i don't know if they're gonna make me change the title to a texas title um because in california california made me change it in minnesota i didn't have to change the title to minnesota title so, I mean, every state is different. It's just like very interesting to see. And also in Minnesota, I didn't have to do a state inspection or a smog check. You don't have to do one in Florida either, I don't think, unless that's changed. But, so yeah, I don't know. It's just very interesting how states are so different. Um, they're the United States, but yet they all have different rules and laws. So, anyways. But all right, yeah, we're gonna go check on her little Corolla. Poor girl, she needs a little extra loving today. And um, then go home. And I don't really know what else is on the docket, but uh, I guess we will find out as the day goes on. It's only 12 o'clock, you guys. A few moments later. All right, so we're getting back in the car. We're leaving the um, car repair, and they're basically giving us the state inspection and the oil change for free and a little bit more of a discount. So um, the total is actually a little bit cheaper than what he originally quoted us just to fix the two things. So yay, and there's our car by Corolla. I just want to like give her a little pat on the butt and be like, it's okay, baby. <laughs> I'm attached to my items, you guys, okay? So anyways, um, yeah, so we don't have to pay until oh, we pick it up, so that's good. We also didn't know if we needed to like do that before they could even start the work. So now we're going to head home, and I mean, hey, oh, actually we're gonna get the car washed because our car needs it, might as well, and then head home. But yeah, so I feel a lot better, especially because we're gonna get those two things for free and also because we're getting like a little bit cheaper so I approve but all right we're gonna get our car washed go home and then I need to finish the vlog well it's done I just need to re like proof it like rewatch it to make sure I didn't like mess up and then export and upload and we're good and of course it wouldn't be us if we didn't go to Costco but going to Costco is not our fault it's her fault <laughs> we blame mama muddy <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna be in trouble because all three of us are obsessed with Costco So when the three of us can't help ourselves, but anyways poor mama Mari is still sick So we're coming in here supposedly just for honey. So will we only buy honey? Nope. I guess we'll find out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never all right next stop on the Aaron train Dollar Tree. I'm being a bad youtuber guys. Sorry, but we are at pho of course our favorite place so good I got just the rare steak. Alondra got the same one. Yes, baby, I put lime. We got some crab ragoon. Yam always gets a special. Yeah, Alondra put some soy sauce in her broth. Of course, it's super good. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. Uh huh. And then Mama Madi got the pho vegetable one. So we're about to pig out. We're home from doing all of our errands. I feel like we were. Um, out for quite a bit, but maybe not, but I'm really excited you guys. So let's see where do we go? We went to The post office first because I had to mail out another bomb and then we went to Costco Dollar Tree Target Fa. Yes, that's it. So Costco my mother-in-law got some stuff. We got some stuff. Did we just get the honey? No, you guys know we didn't but we did get good stuff my mother-in-law she bought this for um, Alondra. It is super cute. It is like a flannel looking, like kind of like a jacket, but like inside it has like, is that called fleece? I think so, like inside like super warm. I don't know, I just feel like it's, it does get cold here, so I feel like she can never have enough jackets and just kind of a variety and it has a hood. This is an extra small size five six, which I like because she will definitely grow into it and it has a hood. So she got this for my daughter, which I thought was so sweet. Um, and then we also got this for Alondra, Amit um, and I, because honestly she can never have enough pajamas. And so it just says besties and it has a bear. What is that? A bear, a cat, and a bunny. And it's from Carter's. Honestly, you guys, Costco has really cheap Carter's pajamas. The 
And this is, I think this is fleece actually, like because it's super soft and warm. I feel like she needs more of these. She doesn't have a ton of like, I don't know, I just feel like she goes through pajamas really quickly. And so I got a size five. Oh, you haven't even seen this because you were asleep. Do you like it? And it's normally $9.99 and it was on sale for $7.99. So $7.99 for a pair of Carter's pajamas, not bad. What baby? It's just one pair of pants and a shirt. And then what is this? Oh, that's my mother-in-law stuff. Oh, my mother-in-law got this honey, which I'm pretty excited about. I love the jar and I love this um, little like the little comb stick, but it's raw honeycomb. So this is gonna stay with us, but she just wants it because she doesn't feel good, poor thing, and we don't have any. That's what baby? No, that's a bees. Yeah, bees make that. Why? And then what else do we get at Costco? We got Oh, my mother-in-law, I was already in my room. My mother-in-law got me, I will show you guys. What are you doing? I just want to see. Oh, you want to see? I was going to show you something else, but I can't. Did she come with me? Um, I don't know where it is. It's not in here. I don't know where. Maybe Daddy put it away. So, I don't know. I'll find it later. It doesn't matter. But we got obviously some food. Oh, we got canola oil. That's not really that exciting. Oh, my mother-in-law likes her coffee, so she's actually taking a, a bag of coffee back with her. But um, yeah, I feel like we got like sour cream. You know, nothing too exciting. Limes, nothing really exciting. But anyways, then after that we went to the Dollar Tree and we just got like this little, so whoops, this little sewing kit. But how cute is this little sewing kit? So we can fix your dress, or Mama Mighty can fix your dress. Alondra has a cute little bell dress, oh, yeah. and it has a huge hole in it, like it ripped. I mean, I got it on Black Friday from Walmart, it was like 10 bucks, so. Um, yeah, Mama Mighty's gonna do it later, but it has a bunch, like I couldn't find my needle and thread and everything, so this little like kit, we're like, let's go to the Dollar Tree, it's probably cheaper there. So also I went to the Dollar Tree, got that, then, yes, you can eat that. Then we went to Target, and you guys, I think I was saying this in my Play With Me video, how I want like actual, plate that says like cookies for Santa or whatever like that and so oh, yeah. I went when I went to the Dollar Tree I take this to later. okay so when I went to the Dollar Tree I was looking to see if they would have a plate that maybe says that I didn't see anything there also too I saw that people were saying that they found really cute it looks like a milk and I, I want to say it's like the 50s era but I don't know if it is but like when the milkman actually used to like deliver milk to your door and it was like those milk looking bottles I hope I'm making sense Anyways, um, people are saying they got some at the Dollar Tree and it looks like it's a glass and it looks like a milk like can and they were like are giving that for Santa for milk. So I really want that. Now that I saw that, I want it. But anyways, when we were in Target, Alondra was like looking in the dollar spot or Bullseye's Playground and look what she found. She was looking at these plates. There was different designs and when I saw this one, it says milk and cookies for Santa and reindeer treats. I mean, how cute is that? And I wanted a plate that actually said, like I would have just used a regular plate, no big deal, but I wanted a plate that actually said this. And it was a dollar. I mean, one dollar, yes. I do wish the plate was white or red because it would match my aesthetic a little bit better, but I mean, honestly, for a dollar, I do not want to pass this up. I was super excited when I saw this, so now I just need to find like that little milk can thingy because I really want it. I have it in my head and now that's all I can think about and I know I'm not gonna waver like my thought on it. The other thing that we got, where is it? Cause I accidentally took it out of the bag and threw it with everything else. Oh, we needed a little cover up, like I said, for Alondra's Flower Girl dress. This is from Cat and Jack, $12.99. I got a 5T and so this is it. I'm just gonna like lay it on myself. It's super fuzzy and soft. It's short because obviously we don't want it to cover the dress. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this. I am not displaying this any good, but I mean, it's kind of hard, but it's like, you know, just a short little cardigan type. Um, it has one little button and I don't know, it's super freaking soft. They didn't have tights though, so I am going to put this over the dress just to see what it looks like and hopefully the color looks good. If not, it's Target, I can return it, no big deal. So, um, yeah, that is basically everything. Um, what baby? I'll be right back. See if she lets me stay in here by myself. But at Costco, I saw this and I thought this would be like, what are you doing? You got, she knows you guys, she knows. All right, anyways, my battery is dying. I am working on editing in my apartment hall. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish 
editing that. I just wanted to check in with you guys and say hello. It's just as soon as we got home, I rushed to give Alondra a shower and then I rushed to get my vlog up and yeah. Then I started editing the apartment haul and I was like, oh, I haven't checked in with the muchachos and I've been really bad about that. So let me charge my battery and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Later. Alondra is finally like asleep. Well, I don't know if she's asleep. She's just in bed kind of like talking to herself. So I can finally show you guys. This is definitely going to be like a bonus gift. Um, or Iram was saying maybe like an after a the dentist gift um, because we made an appointment for a launch today for the dentist next week and the last time she went to the dentist she was practically traumatized because they did sealants we weren't sure if we were gonna do sealants but it was $80 and we were like let's just do it because she is how old was she she was three still but we're like it's supposed to help prevent cavities like to seal it I don't know but I I don't know if the guy did a good job honestly because he was i don't know he was very weird anyways that's besides the point um so yeah i saw this at costco you guys if you go to costco if you have a costco i don't know when this sale ends i would definitely go asap some of the signs for like the sale signs said it ends on the 24th i believe some ended on the 16th and i don't know which one this is but they had this frozen one and you guys know Alondra is obsessed with frozen and they also had a cars version so this is for kids three and up and it is the um the oral b rechargeable toothbrush so it's the actual like handle so like this handle part here let me just flip the camera around it's like a glare right there from the light but so you get like three of these brush heads so there's one two three they have Anna and Elsa on it and then you also get toothpaste I want to know does this toothpaste I hope the toothpaste is fluoride free. I'm gonna have to double check that. But um, yeah, so you get the handle, the toothpaste, three refill brush heads. It says there's a free app, so I'm not sure what the app is, but I will double check it. But um, yeah, I doubt this is fluoride free, the toothpaste. But anyways, I'll, I'll double check it. But yeah, so I don't know, oh wait, what does it say? It's designed to help ch children brush longer and better. 3D cleaning, a two minute timer, okay. Cool. So anyways, I think this will be really, really, really great for Alondra because we have electric toothbrushes and she likes those and this is Anna and Elsa. So anyways, I think she is really going to like this. So I don't know if this is going to come from Mr. S or if it is gonna be like an after the dentist gift. I'm not sure. Um, I do think it's funny though because all of her like S gifts are frozen i just think that's kind of funny i kind of like that too then it's kind of like oh yeah all of these items are from you know so anyways that's what i'm thinking we shall see um but my mother-in-law did get me this jacket it's actually really cute um it's a oh, i could wear this as a shirt or a jacket but it's definitely a flannel and i think it was 14.99 at costco but it has like a fleece on the inside it's very warm it's a very thick kind of like thicker shirt so i could definitely like button it up and wear it as a shirt or just wear like a black shirt underneath it and just have it open or have it like a layering piece and put a jacket over it or i also have a vest i could put a vest over it anyways i don't know i just thought it was really cute i like the black and white flannel look and i don't have a black and white one so i really like this they had other colors too but this was definitely my favorite and i got a medium so she bought it for me she kept saying like get something pick something out and i was like why uh <laughs> but she kept insisting that i get something and then she showed me this she's like here you would like this and i was like you're right i do like that so fine since you keep insisting i get something i guess i will get something so anyways whoops um yeah let me go in my closet now and just hide all of the presents by the way i don't know if you guys saw my like what I got a laundry for Christmas. If you haven't seen that video, it is live. Check it out if you're curious. And then also um, the her stocking stuffers. Check that out too. But on one of the items, um, I think I'm going to return because I was told I could get preemie diapers for super cheap. That's what I wanted to check at Target today, the preemie diapers. Because if that's the case, I'm going to return this. It's diapers for a doll. Anyways, um, so I know you guys are probably like, what are you talking about getting preemie diapers? I don't want y'all to be thinking the wrong thing. But anyways, I need to rehang up these jackets here. How many hangers do I need? I have one, two, three. Okay, so I need more hangers. But anyways, yeah, so 
that's basically it. Oh, you know what? I found another one. Whoa. Oh my God, that would have been bad if I would have dropped my camera. But anyways, you guys, so I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because honestly, nothing else is going to happen. I just want to get in the shower and then hang up these jackets here that need to be hung up and that's it i just got done editing my apartment haul and i'm exporting that video now so i'm gonna put a poll on my facebook and ask you guys what do you want to see um because let's see what's actually winning right now if you guys don't know i did put a poll on facebook to see what you guys wanted to see i asked basically the same question i asked in yesterday's vlog if you guys wanted to see like the like which video you wanted to see the bonus videos for this week so, so, mm -hmm. wow, the silhouette tutorial video one. I didn't think that was going to win. So, okay, cool. So now I'm going to ask, what do you want to see first? The silhouette tutorial or the apartment haul? That way that can go up on Wednesday. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that bonus video up on Wednesday and then one on Friday and then one on Sunday, I think is what I'm going to do. So I want to post that little poll and ask you guys, but... Yeah. Oh, I do want to give you guys an update on our car. So the Toyota got fixed. It is done. And they were able to fix it today, which I'm pretty impressed. I didn't think it was going to be fixed today. Um, but it is. It did. So that is good. I mean, obviously it did give us a little setback. And this is honestly the worst possible timing to like hit us with this huge expense. I mean, I was prepared financially for Christmas. I've been having a sinking fund and like budgeting and setting aside money for Black Friday and Christmas. So that was like no problem. Um, but I did not save or like have a, like a set fund for like moving expenses because I did not honestly think we were going to move this year and buy new furniture. So if I would have like, if it would have been in our plan that we were definitely moving this year, I would have put money aside for the move. So I didn't, but anyway, I mean, we're fine, but you know what I'm saying? Just like with all of the furniture purchases, like just everything happening, it obviously like dipped in to the fun a little bit. So thank God I had like a savings, like a separate savings just for Christmas. And then my sister's wedding is like a big financial expense. I mean, not huge, but it's an added financial expense, especially around the holidays. And then now the car, $1,600. So it's just like, Oh my gosh, you know, like when it rains, it pours. So it's just honestly, it's the worst timing. However, oh, and then also I need to get my new, my, my new plates for the car and I need to get my new license. So it's just like everything all at once at the end of the year. I'm just like, why? But I mean, I don't know, I guess might as well just get it done and over with um, at the end of the year. That way I don't have to deal with it during like the beginning of the year. I don't know. It just feels like worse timing, especially because I feel like this week and next week, it's just the next three weeks is going to be crazy. It's not even just this week. Like this week, like my mother-in-law's in town, which is not a bad thing, but you know, we have her in town and then I need to like prep and get things ready for like the wedding. And then second next week is the wedding. So I have to go a couple of days early and it is obviously the wedding. And then the week after that is Christmas. And then the week after that, you guys, we are going to California. I didn't tell you guys that we actually booked that trip yesterday. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Uh, we're going to go to big bear and like get a house and everything like that. I Oh my God, I heard something that scared me. But yeah, we're going to get a house and everything like that. And it's just going to be like the family. I don't know how long we're going to be in California for. I have no idea, to be honest. Um, Edom doesn't even have the days off from work yet, but he's going to, you know, swing it and make it happen. But we are going to go. So it's literally like the next one, two, three, four weeks. It's going to be bonkers. But yeah, we want to go for Alondra's birthday. I don't think we're going to do a birthday party because honestly, who would come with us being out here? So anyways, we were talking about it and we're saying, well, why don't we just go to Cali and, you know, see the family. And then we could do like Alondra's birthday party or something like that with her cousins because her cousins, what is that? Five, six, seven, seven, seven kids with Alondra, eight. That's a lot of kids. That makes the whole party right there, you know? So anyways, um, so yeah, that's what we planned and I'm excited. So it's like official. We are definitely going to go and I'm really excited about it and to like see everybody and stuff like that, especially for Alondra. I'm excited for her to see her cousin. So anyways, it's just, it's a crazy, it's going to be a crazy end of the year and like already a beginning of first week of the new year, but I'm excited because it's already something exciting to look forward to in the new year, like exciting plans in the new year. So I'm excited, but the whole car thing now, that's just, ugh. It's the worst timing. It really is. But it's done. It's fixed. It's over with. Also, 
I did the 52 week you guys this whole budgeting thing is like mind-blowing to me because the whole sinking fund if you don't know what that is it's amazing you should do it um, because it really helped with Christmas and it helps with like other expenses that we've been doing but also I did the 52 week savings challenge so I had 14 almost fifteen hundred dollars like because I, I did a separate savings account for that so like I had almost fifteen hundred dollars in there from like every single week putting away like the money that you're supposed to put away for like the challenge so I mean we were able to pay for the car repairs in full I mean obviously it would have been nice to just leave the money there and then next year when I do it again just keep adding on to it that would have been like really nice you know just to see like the numbers go up 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 versus like now it's at zero I just hit my glasses anyways but I really suggest this kind of stuff like I, I really got into budgeting this year if you guys followed that whole like budgeting thing I mean, I know not everybody's into those types of videos But I really got into budgeting this year and I can see how it definitely helps and it's amazing So I'm gonna keep continuing to do it next year because it's really helped me And it was nice too because however, it does suck to pay $1,600 Edam and I didn't have to stress we didn't have to go Oh my god, what credit card are we gonna put it on which credit card has the lowest interest? Uh, blah 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 like you know some places you can apply for a credit card they're like we didn't have to worry about it we were just like okay yeah well we already have the money you know I mean and so I mean it just worked out perfect so 52 week savings challenge I highly suggest that sinking fund highly suggest my budget videos I highly suggest <laughs> I'm not an expert by the way I'm just saying like I've learned a lot from budgeting this year and it's really helped me and anyways yeah I'm still rambling I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Although I feel like today was like we were all very busy doing stuff and I was very bad about pulling out the camera. So I'm sorry guys. But I'm gonna go. I think I've said that a hundred times. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Anyways, oh sorry, one more thing. I've been getting pictures from you guys wearing your Camachos Muchachos hoodie and I am so excited. I've gotten a lot of awesome feedback so far. Everyone has told me that they love the hoodies. So I'm very excited. If you get your hoodie, please let me know. Please tag me on social media anywhere because I'm really excited to see you guys and like in in all your, you know, your get up. It just makes me really, 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 really happy. So um, anyways, yeah, thank you for representing okay but all right i'm gonna go now i swear you guys so i hope you enjoyed today's vlog please give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel please subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks so much for watching bye muchachos